We're making frozen butterbeer this week. Butterbeer. Butterbeer? What are you putting in now? So we have a third of a cup of butter. Okay. I'm using salted butter. Salted butter. Got it. Only because that's what I have. <laughs> so tell tell them what you do when you use salted butter. Well, I don't always do this. Okay. But um, I we had leftover butterscotch from the last time we made this, and um, I ate it with some ice cream, and it was just a little bit too salty for me because it also calls for you to put salt in it. So in order to combat that, I don't think we might put. I'm gonna put like a pinch, but um, a pinch. Since the butter is salted. You don't necessarily have to make yeah. it over salted. We don't want to use too much. Or salt. you could also just use unsalted butter. Fozzie Bear is here to assist. Are you here to assist, little boy? All right, here we go. So, Brittany stirring together the butterscotch that we're making. So it is um, a cup and a half of packed later dark sugar. We did both, so a half of a cup and a half is three fourths cup. And then it's a half a cup of light corn syrup. And then a tip for that is if you spray, like a cooking spray inside the measuring thing, cup. measuring cup, I wanted to call it a measuring spoon. Um, that slides out easier, because it's sticky. Um, and then there's a third of a cup of butter. Um, and as I said before, I just happen to be having, happen to be using salted butter because that is what we have. And so with this, you stir it all together, these three ingredients over some heat. This is in a medium saucepan, bring it to a boil. I don't have a medium saucepan. While we do, I'm just using a smaller one. So. It's, we're actually cooking it over low heat, because I said in the last video, with the flames, you want them to not go over the sides. You want them to be underneath whatever you're cooking it in. That's just a cooking tip, because otherwise it's, the heat is too hot. <laughs> the heat is, the heat is too hot. So you um, stir this together. You want it to boil. Um, and it's because there's a lot of sugar in it, it can burn quickly. So we'll just keep stirring it. At least in that, my last experience with making it the first time, once it boiled, it hit 240 yeah, degrees quickly. Really fast. So just watch that, because um, that's what you want it to hit, and then you will put the rest of the ingredients in, which are, there's salt, apple cider vinegar, rum, heavy whipping cream. But with that, with the salt, again, because it's already salted butter, I might just put like a little bit. Um, I have a friend that any recipe that she cooks, like bakes, if she uses salted butter, she does not. She'll miss the salt you're supposed to add because the butter's already salted. I'm mixing, stirring, I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> But I have a meat thermometer, and that is what we're gonna use. So we're gonna tweak it from last time. So butterscotch is pretty much fine. The only thing we're tweaking is the salt. So it is two thirds cup. And then another tip when you are going to measure how hot this is, don't put the thermometer at the bottom of the meat thing. That should be a thermometer. They just pretty much sit on the side. So it's boiling now, so it's getting close. It's at 2.30. Take off the heat and let cool slightly. Oh, we're supposed to let it cool for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. I'm sorry to everyone that has an Alexa. We have Swish aprons now. I bought these on Amazon. Okay. So we pink. need... These are pink, these are purple. Apple cider vinegar and rum extract. How much of how much? We need one teaspoon apple cider vinegar and half teaspoon of the rum. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> um, and I think also, so I also brought out, because the last time I made butterbeer, not this time, I bought butter flavor, imitation butter flavor. So I think what we're going to do is maybe put that in the whipped topping. That's the biggest thing that we're gonna change, I think. The, the topping? A half a, a half a thing of rum. Half a teaspoon of rum. Extract. This is non-alcoholic. I'm gonna put uh, some Captain Morgan in there. You know what? Would Captain Morgan or would the Bacardi think go better? Captain. I, I think Captain, but at the same time, I don't know. I think it's like good, like not alcoholic. What I else? Agree. Apple cider vinegar. 
A tablespoon? A teaspoon? A teaspoon. One teaspoon. Also, people like drink this. That is good for your system. The digestive system? I like the way vinegar smells. I love vinegar. I love Mold vinegar on fries. fries. Hey. Also, as you can see, we're gonna do blend it together. What kind of salt does it say that you should use? Salt. Salt. One teaspoon. A teaspoon's a lot. That's a lot of salt. Um. Do do a little splish splash. That's what I'm saying. A dash. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw some salt in there. Salt bay. Um. Yeah. So I wanted purple aprons for when we do swish stuff because I'm that kind of a person I like. I think it's cute, it's a cute idea. Yeah, I will so, slowly add it to here. Yeah, so we're adding in the heavy whipping cream, the rum extract. I'm gonna whisk the liquid in first. And the apple cider vinegar, and then we're gonna add a dash of salt. This is my salt shaker, I'm literally gonna go. Done. But that is only because we have salty butter right here. Looks like butterscotch. So this is where we're gonna experiment. So for this topping, you want it to be to the marshmallow cream, which we got fluff, which is the same thing. Heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of butterscotch together. But you want it to be fluffy and white, not stiff. And like, the, I just wanted to be, um, from last time, like more flavor. So I think we're gonna cut down on the whipping cream, add more fluff. Or we just add more fluff. We added more butterscotch. We should add more time. fluff. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that will help. Um, so this is, this is what, um, ingredients wise, it's three and a half ounces of marshmallow fluff and a cup of heavy cream. And then you add like a couple of tablespoons of the butterscotch syrup. So, since we're doing this like not super measuring, I have a scale. I'm just gonna zero the bowl out. This is a lot, but. <laughs> How much was it? Three. How much um, heavy cream? One cup. Another thing, I just don't think maybe we whipped it long enough for my standards. Whip it. Whip it good. Um, I think we even might add a little bit of the butter flavor. Mm. All right, a uh, cup. Mm-hmm. One coop. Mm -hmm. A coop. Chef's kiss. That's a cup. Okay, how much, now how much of this are you gonna add? I was thinking maybe a half of a teaspoon. I was thinking that as well. Uh, Does it smell like butter? I think so. And it's just butter, like imitation butter flavor. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, no, that smells like butter. <laughs> smells like the movie theater. Let's just I would that. go teeny weeny. There's no going back. There's no going back now. I mean, we could make it again, but I think it'll be fine. Would you? I think I'm gonna do a half of two. I'm gonna do another. Oh! So we'll see how that goes. So that's a half of a Hey, a teaspoon, a half of a teaspoon. I keep saying tablespoon. I know. <laughs> half of a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Um, and since there's a lot of liquid in here, just be careful when you're stirring it. I'm also, I'm not gonna measure this. Girl, you do what you feel in your heart, okay? So it's roughly, I think, two tablespoons, so it's like, eyeball it. Let's go. In the swish, the swish in. The swish so this is what we did for the topping. Oh. We added more. I didn't measure totally. I'm gonna say we doubled the whip, the fluff, the marshmallow fluff roughly. Ooh. Still a cup of the heavy cream, some butterscotch, two to three tablespoons, and a half. We did a half of a teaspoon of butter flavor. Are we? Are we in Orlando? Are we at the Wizarding World? Because but that's you know what's what better? it tastes yeah. like. I can't even, like I can't Can describe to you. Like it tastes, it tastes. You're welcome. It, <laughs> I'm calling Megan. 
We can't give you guys a secret yeah, recipe. We're gonna bleep it all out. We don't even know what it is, to be honest. <laughs> The only thing is, like, I wish it was a little bit smoother. So what I might do I next time? Like, Don't tell her. She's not allowed to know. The topping we just made for the frozen butter beer. It tastes. It tastes like it's a wizarding world. Like I'm not kidding you. Yes, we tweaked it. It's. Don't tell her the secret recipe. It's, it's a. It's a sassy secret recipe. It's so <laughs> good. We can't because we didn't measure. <laughs> Well, we're just gonna eyeball it. I guess you should be worried about carbonation, so make it quiet. We're gonna see how it goes. And I'm purposely doing this so it kind of glugs to get some of that out. So for this, it says, um, so you, for every 12 ounces of cold cream soda, you put two tablespoons of the butterscotch. I'm assuming that's what we assume last time. Okay, also, had we really thought ahead about this, we would have opened these and frozen them in ice cube trays instead of putting ice in. Um, I don't know how watered down this is going to taste. So we'll see. Okay. I'm also going to put a little bit of butter extract. Another half of a teaspoon. Okay. I'm gonna put about three. Let's get. soda -y. So I don't know if you want to do a little more. bit more butter. Yeah. Or even the butterscotch. You do both. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? Um, not enough flavor for me. So. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah. No, it's like, you know, we're trying to figure it out. I'm say this. I'm going to power this out a little bit actually more butter flavor in it too. Well, the next time that we do this, we're going to do hot. What? What butter beer? We want hot. All right. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like, like it in, in the pot, pot nine, three days old. Though. Nine, nine, seven. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a smaller glass. Thank you. Want some in your glass or no? Well, I said, yeah, Daddy's going to clean up, and I decided not. Fine, don't cheers me. Most pieces. It's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> it smells like butter beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a little like not frozen enough for me. Uh huh. Next time, what I would do? Probably what we should have done. Mm. Ice first, then the liquid. I want to have it all. I want to get the topping. Oh, I want to drink oh, it. Nothing else. There's no more else to fall. Reach the bottom. It's now or never. Um, I just re whipped this a little bit. <laughs> it literally has the consistency. It, like, I can't get over it. That is the, that is the consistency. I'm so excited. Isn't it just like it? I'm so proud of you. Look at me. We did it, baby. We? Yeah. I was here for moral support. Cheers. That whip topping. Two babes and butterbeer. Mm. I really had to get through that. <laughs> get through that it's timing. so good. Like, close your eyes. We are on the steps beside Gringotts. 
I just haven't really gotten to the actual trick. <laughs> I'm not mad about it though. Mm. I can't get over the fact that we did it. Like, I was gonna say, it's on my nose. You look cute though. Oh, yeah. I need a straw, but man. Holy mackerel. I'm not mad. <laughs> not mad. I'm just so happy. We have a messy kitchen today. We're just gonna do it. Yeah. Just so, gonna do it. What kind of ice cream do you We're like, my hair looks crazy today. today. Tag team backing in. Oh, oops. I sound like Accio Calls. Who's calling at 7 o'clock on a Sunday? There's another vlog. Ooh, my hair looks crazy. Beautiful baby. Make the butt of your baby. Dance with me, baby. Dance with me, baby. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? You're I don't throwing know. me off my game, Bruce. I don't know. Um, we didn't even talk about our aprons. I literally just said I bought them from Amazon. <laughs> my hands are clean. I know I've been touching the whisk, but my hands are clean. In this pot right here, dinner. We had chili. Chili. Very good. What are you making? A mess. <laughs> I guess we don't get you want I just swore. The nose? Writing this down. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm gonna try a sparing. Oh, that is not focused. We're tilted. When are we not? Hold on, can I fix my hair? No. Oh, my forehead looks massive. Here, well, I'll cut it off. Is that better? No, it looks exactly the same. Just get over here. We'll crop your forehead out. 